What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today we're going to be talking about rendering in Revit. So you're always asking me about rendering in Revit, I guess it's one of those topics that is uh, really cool and everybody likes to represent their project in the best possible way and rendering is one of those ways, it's the realistic uh, view of your building so it is always really cool. Now in this video, uh, because it's well dark, well, I decided to create a nighttime rendering in Revit and I decided to explain all of the steps I tend to take to create night renderings in Revit, which does include a little bit of post-production in Photoshop, but don't worry, it's nothing crazy, it's quite quick, you get it over quickly, and then you get this amazing rendering. So, Revit can be quite difficult when it comes to night renderings, but if you do get your settings right, it can look amazing. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, but before we get into that, I would just quickly like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm, and also make sure to subscribe, uh, because I upload useful tutorials each week. And also I upload advanced courses and also beginner courses, so for example if you're new to Revit I have a whole new 16 hours beginner to intermediate course, it's available on my website, uh, first a link in the description, and also if you want to get uh, all of my other courses, they're also available on that website, as well as my Patreon, where you can download all of the project files, like this file that we're creating today. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's qu get quickly into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Revit, and this is the project that I'm going to be using. This is that office building project that I have created a while back. I actually have a full 12 hour course on how to create this building and all of the project documentation with that. So if you're interested in checking it out, it's currently available on my Patreon. Uh, that's going to be the first link in the description. And also it's going to be soon available on my website where I have many advanced uh, beginner and intermediate courses. So check that out as well if you're interested. Also, you can download this project file on my Patreon. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do here is just expand this a little bit, because for night renderings I like to include a bit more of the site just for that uh, nice uh, sky effect, so let's just uh, expand this a little bit. Okay, so once we have a bit more of the background in the view, uh, let's move on to kind of tweaking the uh, tweaking the model. So the first thing that you will notice here, uh, when I was creating this project, uh, here I added these lights, but they are only on the first story. So there are no lights here in the ground level, and there are no lights at the uh, second level so we have to fix that so what i'm going to do is just go here to the project browser and then find our ceiling plans expand that menu and let's find that first level here we go and as you can see here we have all of the lights now to make it a bit easier to copy all of these lights what i'm going to do is just make a, a broad cross selection like this go into filter and then here in the filter i'm just going to check none and then let's search for light fixtures and just check those hit apply and there we go, we can just OK out of this menu. Uh, now, here I have some lights in the bathroom and they are not really necessary for this rendering because they are not going to be visible. So I'm just going to hold the Shift key and then make another cross selection here, just like this, and as you can see now they're removed from selection. So we're just going to be copying the rest of the lights here that are going to be uh, visible in the rendering and that are actually important. Okay, so once we have these selected, we can just go here to the clipboard, uh, click on copy and then to paste, open up the drop menu and we have this align to selected levels options. Now this is going to allow us to uh, copy our lights both to the ground level as well as the second level. So just hold the control key and then you can add the second level. Now I've accidentally added the roof, so while holding the control key, I'm just going to remove that from selection. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just click OK and that's going to be copying those files. Uh, now we do have a problem here on the ground level because uh, as you can see uh, it's a bit different. So what I'm going to do is again hold the control key and select these lights and just get rid of those. Also hold the control key, select these ones, so this one here and this one here and we can delete those. Now for this light over here, for example, let's place it here on the outside of the building just to add a bit more uh, light on the outside. So I'm just going to go here to copy, make sure to check a multiple, and then let's copy it from here. And I'm just going to 
be placing a few lights like this arbitrarily on the outside. I'm not really looking for any particular order just to add a bit more light to our model. Let's add a couple of more here and there we go. I think that's enough for ceiling lights. Now we can go back into our main 3D view. Now we have a second problem over here. I used this uh, light post family, this street light, uh, but the problem with this light is that it doesn't really cast any light. Now if you go into edit family, it's going to open up that family and you will notice that there is no uh, light emitting uh, material here or any uh, light fixture. So if we select this, go to filter, it's just elements. There are no light sources. So what we want to do is just close this off. Let's not save any changes. And what we're actually going to be doing is just getting rid of all of these street lights. They're not going to do us any good because they don't cast any light. We can also go here to the street level perhaps. Here we have a few more. So let's just get rid of all of those. And now let's add in some uh, some good uh, street lights that are actually going to be casting light. Now for that street light, I'm actually going to be using a street light family that I have created a while back and actually I have a tutorial on that. So I'll be leaving a link to that in the description. But for now, let's just add it in by going here to insert. I'm going to go to load family. And then here on my desktop, I have that street light family. So let's just open that up. And if I go to architecture, to component, here we go. So let's just rotate it around, place one here, one here perhaps, one here, and a few more on this side. So maybe something like this. There we go. Okay, so I think now we have sufficient lighting for our rendering. So I'm just going to go to the main 3D view. There we go, looks good. Maybe expand it a little bit more to include this light, just a little bit. Okay, so once we have all, the, all of this set up, now we can uh, get started on our uh, rendering. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing uh, is just going to the render menu. So what you need to do is go here to uh, view, and then here we have the rendering dialog. So let's just open that up. Okay, so here for the settings, I'm going to leave it at medium. Now, as you can see, this is quite a large image. So just to save some t rendering time, I'm going to drop it down to 75 DPI, which is going to make a, a significantly smaller image. Now, keep in mind that if you uh, set the settings to high or best, you are going to get the best effect, but it is going to render like forever. So uh, in this case, uh, this is just a something that I'm doing for presentation purposes. Uh, just for you guys for a tutorial. So I'm just going to keep it at medium, but keep in mind that you are actually going to get uh, quite better results with high or even best. But keep in mind that your computer is going to be rendering for a very, very long time. Okay, so once we have all of that in check, now for the background here, instead of sky, because this is going to be a night rendering, what I found out works best is to actually add an image. So what I'm going to do is search here for image. And then here we can load in an image. Uh, so for the image, let's just go to desktop. And this is that image that I want to be using. So I'm just going to open that up. And this is what it looks like. Now, instead of stretch, let's try width. Now that's going to leave a bit here uh, up on the top and on the bottom. So let's try height. And there we go. I think this works really good. So let's just click OK. So this is a nice, uh, nice uh, dark image, but we still have some light in the sky. And later on, when we move to Photoshop, I'm going to show you how this is going to really add to our rendering and why this is so important. So once we have all of this set, I'm just going to click OK. And now it's time for our rendering. Now, before we create our night rendering, I actually want to create just one simple sun uh, only uh, exterior rendering. And for the sun settings, they're set to, well, almost 11 a.m., that's okay. So I just want to do one daytime rendering because we are going to use that as well. Even though this is a nighttime rendering, it is useful to have that. So let's just hit render and wait for a second. Okay, so after rendering, this is what we get. And this looks really nice. It kind of looks weird because it's daytime here on the rendering and then the background is nighttime. But that's okay, don't worry about that for now. So what we're just going to do is save this or export this. So let's just go to export and we can call it the main 3D view uh, and just add dash day and then hit save. Okay, so once we have that done, now we have to make uh, just a slight adjustment. So instead of the exterior sun only, let's change it to exterior artificial only. And now let's hit render and wait for a second. 
or a, a, a few more seconds because it does take a while for it to render everything. Okay, so once the rendering is completed, this is what we get now. I'm just going to make a few tweaks when it comes to adjustments. So here we have the adjust exposure. So what I'm going to do is just make it a bit brighter. Let's hit apply. There we go, looks a bit better, maybe a bit more. Okay, that might be a bit too much. So let's try yeah, something like that. Okay, so once we have all of this done, I'm just going to click OK and let's export this image as well. So let's just save it. Main 3D view dash night. Okay, so once we're done with all of this, now we can move into Photoshop. So as you can see over here, we have that main uh, nighttime rendering. Now, the first thing that I'm going to be uh, doing with this uh, rendering is to add a black background. So let's just add one layer, move it uh, down. But before we can do that, we have to right click on this one and make it a layer from background. Let's just click OK. And then let's move this one down. Uh, now what we can do is go to the uh, selection tool and then we can make a complete selection of the, the whole uh, window right click and then here we have the option to fill and let's uh, just choose black fill click OK and now as you can see we have a black layer now we can just right click and deselect this view uh, now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add uh, another layer over this so what we're going to be doing is adding a stars uh, layer so let me show you how that's going to look like so I've got this stars in the night Let's just hit finish. Let's bring it up here. There we go. I'm just going to go here into edit uh, and then I go to transform. And then uh, let's just go to scale. There we go. Just make it a bit larger. Now I'm just holding the shift and control key to make sure that it's centered and proportional. There we go. Okay, so we want to have this uh, layer over that uh, original layer that we have. Also, I'm going to add a brightness contrast layer above this and maybe uh, bring down the brightness of the sky around a bit down. So maybe to something like this, there we go. And then uh, what I'm going to do is switch here to the mask and then just using this uh, simple brush tool, Let's set it to 1000, make sure the hardness is set to zero. And then here, make sure that you're using a black color. Uh, just uh, get rid of this center part. So you just want to have that darkness uh, on the uh, kind of on the outside uh, where the sky is at. So that's where you want to add that brightness that's in minus, in this case, minus 126. Okay, so once we have that done, now it's time to, well, make the stars look exactly how we want them to look. So we can do that by uh, changing the blending uh, option here for the, sky, uh, for the stars. So here I'm just going to uh, go and find the pin light. Uh, let's see, or not, not the pin light, the uh, lighter color. Uh, let's just search for that. There we go. So something like this. Now, of course, we want to bring this uh, down a little bit. And of course, you don't want to have this. Uh, you don't want to have this image everywhere. So what you want to do is select this, add another mask here, and then again using that bl uh, black brush, just remove the image over here. So what we're creating is going to look something like this. So again, as you can see, we're just removing most of this. So we just have those stars here at the edges. That's what I really want to achieve, and that's what I like the look of. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be doing is adding that uh, daytime rendering. So I'm just going to place that over this. And for this one, we're going to be using that pen light layer. So let's see, pen light, blending option, there we go. And of course, for the fill, you want to bring it all the way down to maybe 15, 16. So uh, we're basically placing this just because it adds a, a bit of texture to the building. It adds these panels, it looks just a little bit better. It adds just a bit more light. So I really like that because it actually brings the building out uh, kind of pops a little bit because uh, usually it's not going to be completely dark. No matter how, how dark is it, it is, uh, you're usually going to have some light illuminating your facade. So you can, you can bring this down a little bit more if you want. You can play around with it, but that's the setting that I want. Now, of course, you can continue playing around. You can add some layers. So for example, if you use this color lookup, you can find some cool effects. If I just scroll through those, 
let's see are some of these going to make our image look better or worse wow this one looks really cool uh, maybe we can add a bit, a bit more brightness to that yeah maybe bring this down a little bit like that there we go but anyways that's that's the whole idea uh, now one more thing if these lights uh, look kind of yellowish and most of these uh, lights that come with Revit are going to look uh, like that what you can always do is add a vibrance layer now let's maybe move it all the way here uh, just above our uh, main dark rendering and then you can bring down the vibrance and as you can see it's going to make those lights a bit whiter uh, now of course uh, it's going to kind of distort the rest of the image so what you can do is again use the uh, mask and then uh, just uh, use the black brush all around to add that uh, blueness to the sky so you can just play around with those layers maybe it's not going to work good or maybe it is going to be working exactly how you want it so just continue tweaking it around but at the end this is the sort of image that we're going to be uh, getting out of this uh, rendering of course at any point maybe bring down this darkness a little bit let's see yeah maybe this looks a bit better so again uh, a bit of tweaking and you are going to get a really cool effect also one more thing that you can do is you can actually go to your original layer and add another mask over that and then you can kinda if we just drop the opacity down to maybe 50 and try to get rid of some of this darkness here or uh, or a light sky there so maybe that was a bit too much so let's go back a few steps so again as I said it's a lot of playing around but at the end oops uh, at the end that's what you get so maybe 30 percent yeah I think this is going to give us a cool effect there we go I think this looks uh, really good right now so there you go that's how you can create these cool nighttime renderings using uh, just a uh, Revit's uh, basic rendering engine and just a little bit post-production later on in Photoshop so that's uh, that's the idea behind this okay I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and again as I said if you want to download all of these project files all of the images the office building check out my patreon first link in the description and if you're interested in maybe some beginner uh, Revit courses I have a complete 16 hour beginner to intermediate course up on my website first link in the description so check that out as well okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching and have a nice day